Hola gang and welcome back to Old Nerd Reviews. I'm Tony, your old nerd of the day, and I do try things so you don't have to. I have an unboxing today and a review along with it. I just got a shipment from Carnivore Club. Yeah! So I've done Carnivore Club before, but if you don't know, if you haven't seen those videos, Carnivore Club is a monthly subscription box of artisan meats that is sent out, and they have really interesting stuff. All right, so this is October's box, and from what I understand, they've sent some very exotic meats, but they're also attributing them to fantasy creatures, fantasy beasts. Okay, open it up. The very first time I ever did Carnivore Club, they had the box and it looked like a butcher's block. You know, it had all the, it looked like it was made of wood. I would love to see those back instead of these, these plain ones. Okay, uh, the card reads, live vicariously through your mouth. This month's artisan. Think jerky partners with some of the world's best chefs to bring gourmet jerky snacks that contain only the healthiest ingredients. Their commitment to creating a jerky that is both delicious and healthy is reflected in their use of only sustainably raised 100% grass-fed beef or free-range turkey with no added hormones or antibiotics. All ingredients used are non-GMO, gluten-free, and paleo friendly i don't know what that is once upon a time in a land not far away we stumbled upon the idea for mythical meats stemming from a passion for jerky and a love for magical creatures we channeled our creative energies into creating mythical meats reimagining exotic game meats as some of the most beloved creatures in our culture today has been its own adventure and we are so excited to share this journey with you okay so what do they have in this box they have a basilic stick it won't cause death with just one glance but the basilic basilic is so delicious you'll think you've died and gone to heaven the basilic basilic is made with a blend of mild alligator and beef delivering scary good flavors so alligator and beef all right let me find that one here it is. Uh, alligator mild with beef snack stick. Mythical meat. So that is a basilic stick. So it's actually alligator and beef. We'll just take these one by one. So let me go ahead and try this. I think I'll just try... They've got a good number in here, but I think I'll just try three of the, the mythical beast ones. I've never had alligator before. But being in Florida, alligator is big. I can find it in the frozen section in uh, Walmart around here. And they also sell them uh, in stands at like fairs and stuff like that, concerts. All right. So there is what a basilic slash alligator stick looks like. Give it a shot. Do it again. Interesting flavor. It's got a little bit of a bite to it. A little bit of a heat going on. Uh, a, a, a tang, I guess. Not really fond of the texture, even though this is very tender. Um, it's just the texture is a little bit different. Can't really compare it to anything that I've had before. It's not like a, a, a beef jerky that you would get. Um, I mean, it is in stick form, so it is going to be a slightly different there. Interesting. Not my favorite, though. Moving right along, the next one, the Loch Ness Stick. Unlike Nessie, this snack stick's flavor cannot be concealed, containing a combination of mild buffalo and beef. I love buffalo. Your taste buds will tell stories of this stick for generations so it's beef and buffalo there it is right there the Loch Ness monster stick that's what it looks like it looks a little bit more grainy than the alligator just like a popsicle of old okay so yeah it looks a little bit see a little bit more textured 
than the last one. See? Okay, give it a shot. Mm, I like this one. Nice flavor. It doesn't have that that really that strange texture that the last one did. Also has a little bit of heat going on with it. It's very tender and, uh, and it's not heavy at all, which is typical of buffalo because buffalo is a very buffalo is a very trim meat. It's not a fatty meat. Um, and it's good for you. The first time I had buffalo was at a Hardee's in the Midwest, actually Wyoming. And they served a buffalo burger at this Hardee's. And I just fell in love with it. Bison is, is exceptional, exceptional meat. So yeah, I'd say Loch Ness was a winner. Next on the list is a dragon stick. Legendary beast meets legendary flavor in this snack stick made with a blend of alligator beef and Cajun spices. The dragon's bold taste might make you breathe fire. Ooh, okay, maybe I don't want to do that one. Also got a Pegasus stick. Let your taste buds soar by experiencing the splendor of the Pegasus snack stick. This meat treat is a combination of antelope and beef. Food fit for the gods. Antelope and beef. Okay, so let's... Let's do the Pegasus instead of the dragon. The, I mean, we've already had alligators, so this is just the addition of Cajun spices to spice it up. So um, there, just to show you, that is the dragon stick right there. And here is the Pegasus, which is antelope. He's kind of bent. Antelope and beef, that's what we're looking at. All right, so uh, there is a look at what that looks like. Shiny, shiny. Smells good. Smells like a beef stick. Okay, give it a shot. Kind of has that strange texture, that different texture that the first one did. Um, it tastes a little bit more gamey than than the others did um i like the flavor i think it also has some heat going on that heat actually took a little bit to take hold but it it went past my tongue initially and started heating up as soon as it got to the back of my throat and down to the bottom of my throat okay so so far i like the loch ness the best let's see what else okay so they have a classic beef jerky i guess that's the end of the mythical creatures uh classic beef jerky chef Stone's recipe combines savory beef with hint of pepper for a modern twist on a classic flavor they have a sweet chipotle beef jerky chef truce's recipe combines real raspberries with a three pepper blend for a spicy finish and they finish it off with a sesame teriyaki beef jerky. Gail Gand is a Michelin star chef and two-time James Beard Award winner. Her recipe combines sesame and spices for a distinct East Asian flavor. All right, so that finishes off the box. I think I'm going to actually try just a regular one. I think I'll try this grass-fed beef jerky sesame teriyaki flavor. Oh, nice. So the packaging is resealable which is nice so you open it up and if you don't finish it off all in one sitting you can go ahead and seal it up again and keep it fresh Ooh, that smells good oh my it's very tender too see they're just just small pieces not big huge pieces i'm trying to find good size okay well this is that's a pretty decent size there we go right there and like i said it feels very tender Give this a shot. Mmm. Mmm. That is wonderful. Mmm. Has a sweetness to it. An Asian teriyaki flavor. That's very nice. It is very tender. So looks was definitely not deceiving. I really like that. 
I like that a lot. So, anyway, that is a carnivore club box. Now, this was strictly jerky. They have all kinds of other stuff, um, all kinds of other artisan meats that they send out in their boxes, so it's not just strictly jerky. I mean, I've got stuff that uh, in past box that I could actually cook up and, and it, just all kinds of good stuff. If you're interested in checking them out, I will put a link below. You can click on that, go there, check out boxes. They've got new things every single month. So I will definitely enjoy eating on the rest of these. Thank you so much, Carnivore Club, for sending this my way. Um, I appreciate it, and I enjoyed sharing it with my viewers here. There you go, gang. Another unboxing slash review in the bag. Uh, thanks so much for just spending a few minutes with me. Uh, if you follow all the groovy, nerdy links down below to all my social media stuff, live streams every week, you do all that, and I promise you, you will become a part, just ushered on in, of the coffee-swilling crony community. Okay, you guys have a freaking awesome day, and I'll talk to you again. Bye now.